dare you to pop in my missions. How brown skin poppin' sugar Kimball, Mr. Cover Girl. I'm waving bitches, saying I rub while they sweatin' thumb. These niggas spendin' hella pensions if that pussy burn. Coppin' diamonds at first. Hey guys, so the frontal is laid now. To achieve this look, I'm just going to thin out the hair a little bit because to me it's a little bit on the thick, it's a little bit too thick for me. To you guys it may not look that thick but I don't know, it just feels thick and it gets kind of scrunched up easily because it's like a lot of hair. So I'm just going to thin this out just a little bit in order to get this ponytail slayed. <laughs> Excess hair out of this to make it a little bit more thinner and sleeker because this hair was definitely ooh, was definitely a little bit too thick for me like I said I like my ponytails to be nice and thin and sleek not like really really thick see all that hair is just coming out into my hairbrush okay now I'm trying to see whether I want a side part or middle part for this look because I'm not really sure yet. I'm just going to do a middle part. <laughs> I know I look crazy because I'm trying to find a middle part. Another thing about this wig a lot of y'all said was that it was hard to find the part. Not really. You just really got to look and you'll kind of see the line right there. I kind of put this wig a little bit to the side so it may be a little bit crooked but it's fine. So I'm just going to do a middle part for this look. Make sure that the hair is behind my ears first because you want to make it look as realistic as possible. So I'm just going to put the hair behind my ears. That's how you make your frontal on your synthetic wig look real just make sure the hair can go behind your ears if you cannot you're doing it wrong you want to show some ear okay so that's that i'm going to hold the hair like this i'm going to open up the hair like this you want to put the ponytail in the middle of the head i'm going to place it in the middle then i'm going to take the hair and i'm going to kind of like cover it on top of the ponytail the hair is in the middle of the ponytail so I'm just going to take my ponytail aka scrunchy and I'm just going to tie up the hair really really tight but you want to be careful not to pull too too you want to be careful not to pull too hard because the ponytail will come loose so just be careful I'm gonna do you guys know I don't like any ponytail showing it's not really tacky. It depends on the ponytail. If it's like those old school 90s scrunchies, that's the look. Like a black one or a white one, that's the look. But if not, cover it. So what I'm going to do is, let me just turn this way so you guys can see. I'm going to take some of the wig hair. Not the, wait, should I take, no, I'm going to take some of the wig hair because that is on top of the fake ponytail. So I'm going to take like maybe this much, maybe this much of the wig hair. And I'm just going to wrap it around the ponytail like this. What I'm going to do, you can actually, you can use, I, ugh, I recommend you getting one of the grip pins that like grips it so it can like stay on tight. I don't have any at the moment. So I'm going to be using these like push pins and I'm just going to push a lot in it so that it doesn't come loose because that's annoying when I'm trying to go for a look and it unravels in the street. Yeah, that's annoying. So last but not least, you want to flat iron this because these are two different lengths even though they're the same texture and they look exactly the same they're still two different lengths so there is a possibility that you know some of the wig hair will come up like this and then you can kind of see like where it stops where it starts you don't want to see where it stops where it starts so you just want to kind of flat iron it really tightly together so that's what I'm going to do right now so I'll just start like that and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like kind of push it down on top of the hair just kind of flatten it You're not really trying to flat iron it. You're not trying to make it straight because it's already straight. The hair and the, the braid in hair and the wig hair is straight. But you kind of just want to like flatten it together. And then what I'm going to do to kind of finish it off, I'm just going to take some holding spray, which is the got to be glued. I use the spray for everything. And I'm just going to kind of spray on top of the ponytail so that it kind of like, 
you like I said, I just don't want to see the, the the difference between the wig and the and the braiding hair. So when I spray this on top, it'll kind of like hold it together. It won't hold it that that well. I'm not kind of I'm not trying to spray it till it's like a rock hard ponytail, but I just need to spray it a little bit, especially like the ends. I'll just do that a little bit and kind of like brush down so it'll kind of just hold right there and then I'll do the back do it like that this part is coming out a little bit so I'm just gonna spray that a little bit and at this point guys that is all for this video this is how you turn your 20 inch wig into a 30 inch low ponytail I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was super, super easy. All the products will be linked in my description box. Let me know below what you think about this look. Let me know if I slayed it, if you will be trying this with your wig. Um, I have a whole review on how I slayed a frontal really slowly on my channel. I will link that below as well or be above my head. Look at this. Look, look at it. No, seriously, look at it because this is just crazy right here. I really just, I raised the bar right here. Like, look at this. This doesn't even look like a synthetic wig. Okay. Y'all keep sleeping if y'all want, but I'm trying to wake y'all up. Subscribe to my channel. I want 80,000 right now. I'm trying to get to 100K by December. I want that to be my Christmas gift. Christmas is coming up. I want a Christmas gift. You know what I want? I want 100,000 subscribers. I want 100,000 of you. Give this video a thumbs up. I get. Let's get this to 5K thumbs up like before. 5k thumbs up let's get this to 5,000 thumbs up please for this slayage um i love you guys so much for watching don't forget to follow me on all my social medias miss chrissy j on snapchat instagram twitter and i am chrissy j on facebook i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video but until then keep slaying <laughs>